Good morning, it's Robin. I plan to spend most of my day in the kitchen and I'm hoping that you'll join me. I have a very busy day scheduled for myself, starting with making some ornaments for a tree that I plan to set up in here. Then I'll be sewing a Christmas stocking made from a vintage tablecloth to hang over my message board. And then finally, I plan to start my Christmas baking by making a cake that I can freeze until Christmas Day. I'm collaborating with some friends here on YouTube today who, just like me, are going to be puttering around their kitchens sharing Christmas inspiration. Their links will be listed down in the description box, so I'm hoping that you'll go check out their videos as well. Since I have such a busy day scheduled, the first thing I'm going to do is take a few moments and get something you put into the crock pot for dinner tonight. I decided to make pulled pork, which is not only delicious, but it's super quick with hardly any prep. All you have to do is put a pork roast into the crock pot, add some seasoning, and cook it on low for about eight hours. It's so simple, so delicious, plus it makes fantastic leftovers that you can put in the freezer. With that done, I want to quickly paint these wooden ornaments that I found at the thrift store a while back. I'm using some red craft paint, gave them a couple coats each, then I gave them a matte clear varnish to protect the paint job, and I hung them on the tree in the living room. And I think it's the perfect way to add just a little bit more of the red onto the Christmas tree. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the projects I actually had scheduled for today. I have this bench in my kitchen and I think it would be the perfect place to put a small tree. So I'm gonna use this enamelware pitcher to hold my Christmas tree. And I'm thinking that this is going to be so adorable. I wasn't originally going to put a tree in my kitchen, but I have been missing the sparkle in this room that I normally get for my Christmas tree. So I've decided a small little tree is what I need here in the kitchen. And instead of using regular lights, I'm going to be using these tree clip lights, which I got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. I had a set of these last year for my large tree and absolutely love them. So I bought another set for other places and other trees around the house. And I'm going to use like about eight of them here on this one. These are so much fun. They clip right onto the branches and... I think they are so cute. The ornaments I'm going to make for my tree are ones that I remember making back in school way back when. You start with a toilet paper roll and you squish it in half. Then you're going to take a ruler and mark three sections that are a half inch wide. Then use a pair of scissors and cut them out. You'll then have three sections that you'll want to decorate. I'm going to be using some wrapping paper, but you could totally go crazy with this. You could paint them, you can glitter them, whatever you'd like to do. The paper I'm using is just some wrapping paper that I cut into little strips to make it easy to deal with, and I'm just gluing it on with some Mod Podge. You could easily use some Elmer's glue or a glue stick, even a glue gun. This just dries really fast, so that's what I like to use, and I had some on hand, so that makes it easier as well. Next, I just took my scissors and I trimmed off all the excess paper. Then I took my scissors and I cut a little triangle to make a sort of faux ribbon notch on each end. Do the same thing with all three pieces of trimming, adding the notches, and then we'll assemble the ornament. So here are the three pieces that I have nicely decorated and all you're going to do is slip one piece into another and then slip the third piece 
inside of that one. Then you're going to want to glue the three layers together in the middle. So what I did was heat up my glue gun and kind of took it apart and then added a little dab of glue to the top and then added the piece on top of it. One more dab of glue on top and then I added the final piece. And that is it. These go together super fast and they're pretty cute if I don't say so myself. And then of course, you're gonna wanna add something to hang them with. I'm just using some baker's twine that I'm tying in a knot on the top and then trimming off the tails. And with that, they are ready to be hung on the tree. One thing I forgot to mention is that these adorable little candles come with a remote, which as you can see, I wrote on it so that I don't get it confused with other remotes that I have. But you can basically use the remote to turn on the lights and turn them off. They have a four hour and an eight hour timer. You can also make the lights flicker like regular candles. Or you can use the remote and make the flickering go off and just have a steady light on. There is also an option to dim the lights and to brighten them as well. I personally like to use the flickering light mode because I think it is adorable and it makes it a little more twinkly at night. But all in all, this little tree turned out super cute with the ornaments and the candles and I love it. I had some leftover candles so I've added them a few other places around the house. One of which is the centerpiece on my kitchen island and I think it adds a really nice touch to the arrangement. Now that the tree is decorated, I have made myself a little mess that I'm gonna clean up with my new vacuum cleaner from Lavoit. I am so excited about this vacuum cleaner. They sent it to me to review and I've been using it for the last couple of weeks and absolutely love it. I'll talk more about it in a little bit, but first let's make some more messes so I can clean it up with my vacuum. I'm going to work on the stocking next. This is the tablecloth that I'm planning to use. It has a few stains and a couple holes, so I don't feel bad about cutting it up. But don't you just love the design? I think it is so pretty. So to make myself a template, I'm just tracing an old stocking that my mom made for me years ago. And then I'm going to use that to cut out the shape from my vintage tablecloth, as well as a scrap piece of fabric for the backing. I also cut out one piece of batting to give the whole thing a little more structure. Then I cut out my template, sewed all the stuff together, and hung it on my message board. And I absolutely love how it turned out. I hung it with some white velvet ribbon, added some greenery and some red berries, and I think it is absolutely beautiful and totally makes me smile. With the stocking done, it is time to move on to baking a cake. The kiddos have requested a red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting, so I picked up a cake mix, and I basically just follow the directions on the back of the box, except for the fact that I substitute milk for the water that is called for, and it makes the cake a little more moist and delicious. And using a bunt pan to bake it in, it makes it a little more festive. While the cake bakes and cools, let me share with you the vacuum cleaner from Lavoite. This is the Vortex IQ40 Cordless Stick Vacuum. You guys, I am such a nerd, but I am so excited about this vacuum cleaner. I have been looking for something that would do a better job for quick cleanups and for helping me keep on top of the dog fur that piles up in the corners and like the bottom of the steps, which drives me crazy. And this totally fits the bill. It's powerful enough to help me keep on top of messes that seem to pop up out of nowhere. Plus, it does a great job on larger messes like paper and cardboard that the dogs seem to find and shred on a daily basis. Plus, I love the fact that it works equally well on both my carpet and my wood floors. It has three buttons on top to control the suction. You've got the plus to increase and then the minus to decrease. After pressing the auto button, the light will come on on the screen and that will tell you that the vacuum will detect whether or not more suction is needed and adjust itself accordingly. 
There are two other indicator lights that may come on if you have an airflow or a roller brush blockage. There is also a dust level indicator along the left hand side to help you keep your filters clean. This vacuum has a four stage HEPA filtration system and uses two filters. As you can see here, one is at the very top of the vacuum head, the other is on the end, both of which can be removed and rinsed with water to clean. I love the fact that the dustbin is super easy to empty. Another handy feature on the vacuum head itself is this little button you can push and easily remove the roller so you can clean it off. The vacuum comes with a handy mounting system for the wall. It holds both the vacuum and the two attachment tools. There is the dusting brush. And the telescoping crevice tool. And the fact that it has lights on the front it really shouldn't be that big of a deal, but for some reason it is, and I just really like that feature. All right, so it has been a couple hours. My cake has fully cooled, and now I need to make the frosting to go on the top. So I'm going to start with a package of cream cheese, one stick of butter that I melted, and I'm going to beat that together. I totally should have started out with the whisk attachment, but I wasn't thinking, so I had to switch that out. Then I added two tablespoons, or I'm sorry, two teaspoons of vanilla, and finally two cups of powdered sugar. I then scooped about half of the frosting into a measuring cup and put it in the microwave and melted it just a little bit. Not so that it's super runny, but runny enough that I could pour over the cake. And here you can see that I'm doing just that. I like to give it a nice thick layer of the frosting because that's like the best part of the cake, right? <laughs> I'll have to let this harden overnight probably and then I will wrap it up and put it in the freezer until Christmas Day. I went ahead and cleaned up all my dishes and now I'm going to run through the kitchen with my vacuum one more time so everything's all nice and tidy and ready for tomorrow morning and then I am taking myself to bed because I am exhausted. It has been a long day but very productive. I want to thank Lavoit once again for sponsoring today's video. There will be a link shared in the description box if you'd like to check out their vacuums and of course don't forget to check out the links for the other two videos in today's collaboration for some more Christmas kitchen inspiration. All right, my friends, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen today. I hope you had yourself a fabulous day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.